is WISN 12 News with breaking news. It's 1 o'clock on this Tuesday. We are breaking into your programming to give you an update on breaking news that we've been following out of Milwaukee's Lincoln Park neighborhood this morning. Sources tell us that a Milwaukee police officer was shot and at the time of transport, that officer was conscious, breathing and expected to survive. Those details coming to us from our law enforcement sources. Milwaukee police confirmed that an officer was injured and that they're dealing with an active tactical situation. This all started around 10 o'clock this morning at Green Bay and Fairmount Avenues on Milwaukee's north side. I want to show you some video of what we've been watching for the last half hour or so. This is video you'll only see here on WISN 12. Moments ago, police were seen carrying two kids from the home. They appear to be pretty young kids as well, wrapped up in blankets there. A short time later, we then saw police walking a man in handcuffs to their squad cars. We also saw family members hugging as well. This is the video of that moment that officers were walking that handcuffed man back to their squad cars. You can see him there in that white t-shirt in the middle of your screen. Again, we also saw family members hugging emotions high of course at what we do believe to be the end of this situation we're still waiting for police to hold a news conference and when they do we will bring that to you live as soon as they begin to speak in the meantime though we have matt salimi a news shopper 12 flying over the scene at fairmount and green bay and matt what are you seeing from your vantage point all of that video really coming to coming from you in the last half hour some pretty spectacular moments there yeah, so I, I believe I saw a total of four kids come out, two that were able to walk out into the driveway on their own, and then they were grabbed by officers and taken behind one of the armored vehicles for safety. Then a mo few moments later, the adult male came out, and he was put into handcuffs and led down the street. And then a couple minutes after that, uh, officers, tactical officers went into the building, and they came out carrying two kids that were wrapped up in blankets. They walked them over to a car where it looks like they were reunited with their mother. That is a... Uh, they're in the back of this vehicle right now. Uh, officers were just talking to her and uh, making sure everything was okay. And uh, the suspect is still in a van. He's right here behind the tree. You can see the front end of the van. They loaded him into the front end of the van and they carried the two bigger kids. I say bigger, but they were still uh, relatively small, but they did walk out of the building on their own, unlike the last two that we saw that were carried out uh, under blankets. And then they were tucked over here where you can kind of see where those shields are. Uh, they were sit That's where the kids were sitting at first uh, as officers kind of just made sure that they uh, were okay before they got them out of harm's way and took them down the street. So uh, that all started at about 20 to one when, when all of this started to unfold. And now I'm pretty confident because you can see nobody's standing in defensive positions. Nobody's hiding around the corner. They're walking around without their guns drawn. Uh, it looks like they have wrapped this up successfully. And it looks like now they are taking the suspect from the scene. Yeah, Matt Salemi, a new shopper 12, reporting that the suspect is in that black Milwaukee police van there. Matt Salemi saw the suspect. We all saw the suspect actually led by police officers in that white T-shirt in handcuffs to a police van there. We also saw uh, at least two children. Matt Salemi actually saw a total of four children being taken out of the home there on Fairmount Avenue near Green Bay Avenue on Milwaukee's north side. So we do believe that the situation is coming to an end. Again, confirmation of that will have to come from police when they do hold a news conference. 12 News is Hannah Hillier joins us live on the ground now in that same area right near Green Bay and Stark Avenue. Hannah, what do we know? Oh, well, Jaron, we're in place awaiting that media briefing from Milwaukee police. Unsure what time that's going to come just yet, but we are here ready to learn what exactly happened here near Fairmount and Green Bay earlier this morning. We really haven't noticed. I know a lot is unfolding on Fairmount, but here from our vantage point at Stark and Green Bay Avenue, we are not seeing a whole lot. The only difference really within the last hour is we've stopped seeing more and more law enforcement officers flood this area, and we're seeing a few emergency response vehicles leave the scene. In fact, here we have a, an EMS, uh, a paramedic truck ambulance leaving or at least making moves here at the scene. We've seen one leave just like this. No ambulance uh, sirens sounding, not appearing to be in a rush, but leaving the scene here. We also saw a large number of those tactical officers with their bulletproof vests, their long guns kind of walk into our view. They had left our view went on to Fairmont Fairmont Avenue and now they are back. It looks like wrapping up what exactly uh, happened earlier today. We know that one officer was shot. That is according to law enforcement sources officially from Milwaukee police. They tell us one officer injured. 
and um, from there we're waiting to learn more. One witness told me it appeared to be a domestic situation that unfolded and then the standoff happened, but we have yet to get that confirmed from Milwaukee police. But as our chopper showed you, as you mentioned, Jaron, four children removed from that home and a man um, led away by law enforcement from that scene as well here, Jaron. Yeah, just incredible to see that video of those children being uh, led away from that home all wrapped up in blankets, some very young children coming from that home on Fairmount and Green Bay Avenue. Uh, Hannah Hillary reporting live for us this morning uh, near the scene, this afternoon rather, near the scene where uh, Milwaukee police officer was reportedly shot this afternoon. We will continue to follow this breaking story throughout uh, the afternoon.